this place important to DHL? I do, because they were founded in 1969 in San Francisco. How did you know that? Man, I just know a lot of stuff. I'm not going to tell anybody else. Home race for the folks at DHL. Unfortunately for them, their driver in a great run. Come up a little George. One pair left. Second round of funny cars. Robert Hyde and Jim Campbell. Hyde, the number one qualifier, the dominant auto club of Southern California, Chevrolet. At least he was dominant qualifying on this day. Bob Tasker sure looks like he's got the car to beat, at least so far. Jim Campbell, the Pinto. Blaze Instruments. Less pure signage on the side of the car this weekend. Big Jim Dunn, who rotates a number of major sponsors on the side throughout the course of the year. Listen up to the pits. Oh, attention to the pits. Lucas Oil competitors. I need you to the lane, please. Semi-finals with Lucas. I need you to the lane. Tom, you can stand down, but everybody else, come on. You're in the semi-finals of Lucas Oil Drag Racing Series. I need you to stay in the lane, please. Jim Dunn walked away from the steer car and his driver, Jim Campbell. They have been locked in the 399 range. Will that be enough to stop the auto club rocking over to one side? I'm not sure. Four, three, 324 miles an hour, Robert. Jim Campbell goes 399 at 318 miles an hour. Jim Dunn and Jim Campbell brought a very solid, consistent car to the racetrack here this weekend. They just ran into a buzzsaw that said AAA on the side of it. Joe. Down here with Jimmy Proc. Boy, this was a throw down run right here. Everybody's hitting. You guys are going to the semis. Uh, yeah, you know, we met, got a little loose down there first round, so. Got on the other side of it now, and now uh, we'll have to come back and uh, see what we need to do against Tasca. Tasca got himself a pretty good hot rod. Hey, race fans, what do you think of that round of nitro, huh? I have a little appreciation. Everybody that drug a car up here to the starting line made good, solid runs, and I just absolutely love when we watch them go blasting down there at 330 miles an hour, and it ain't enough.